This episode is supported by the wonderful people at NordVPN. You already know the VPNs can help you avoid having your data tracked and allow you to appear anonymous while you surf the web. Everybody that's been on the internet knows that by this point. But you know what else it can do? A super crazy important thing that it's very likely that you already know as well. Well, let me put it this way. I cannot watch Harley. I really want to, but I made the mistake of being born up in the pancake capital of North America where I can't get on HBO Max. But with NordVPN, all I've got to do is connect to an American server and I can access HBO Max, all without the hassle of actually leaving Pancake Land. So soon, I'll finally be watching a phenomenal series I've been sleeping on for way too long. As long as HBO Max stops breaking, but that's another thing entirely. If there are shows on services that you can't access in your country, you can use a VPN to try to connect to them. You would be surprised at the library of things you can watch that aren't available in one country. A VPN lets you open yourself up to make the entire world be your media library. If you sign up during December this year at nordvpn.com mouthwash, you can get a two-year plan plus one additional month at a huge discount. Mega thanks to NordVPN for supporting this episode. And thanks to all of you for doing the same. Without further ado, on with the show! The following is a fan-based parody. Bleach is the property of Tite Kubo, Viz Media, Studio Piro, and TV Tokyo. Please support the official release. <laughs> Ginichimaru, what a surprise to see you here. What are you doing in the observation room? Hmm? Oh, just changing the interior layout of Lost Nochess to move some of the more arbitrary rooms into the path of our intruders. You know, like the inverted swimming pool room, the room with dozens of five-foot pits, the room consisting of nothing but interlocking staircases with an uncomfortable incline. I am personally rather fond of the room with dozens of just pillars, for, for no discernible reason, just pillars. Did that one! It worked out well! Lots of pillar damage no one will care about. Most excellent. What brings you here, though, Ukiora? The human girl requires food. I looked in the fridge and realized we don't have a fridge. What with us all being spirits? So I wanted to open a garganta to a Costco in the human world and pick up something for her. What do human girls eat? Nickels? Are nickels food? Nickels are not food. What unfathomable cultural barriers separate us that we may never understand one another? Say, while well, you're here, you're perhaps the only politest spot I'm aware of. We should really talk more, you know? Setting aside that life holds no meaning, and even a strong friendship would be pointless in the face of eternity. I would like that. What do you do then, in your spare time? Apart from all this Espada stuff. Hmm. What? You said spare time. As if time when I'm not working were effectively any different from the time spent working for Lord Groban. All time passes equally and without pleasure. What one fills it with amounts to little more than unnecessary flavor. I have a pet snake. You are a pet snake. Hmm. 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 I feel like you were expecting that I was a more interesting fun person than I am. Ridiculous. Hmm. So I was leading Rukia into this trap, see? Is porridge food? Porridge sounds like food. There's a lot of things in the world you can't explain, kids, and a lot of things you forget about, too. Sometimes even people who were important to you become hard to recall after a few years. Now imagine that, but with the lifetime of a soul reaper. You'd probably forget some pretty important stuff, huh? I trust you're getting at something, Dad. I am. You see, Aunt Rukia had some pretty traumatic stuff happen in her life, but she's tough as nails, kids. So when she was trying to save your mother and encountered a blast from her past, it could have been a big deal. Too bad Eisen underestimated how easily things slipped her mind. Of course, the first real obstacle in Hueco Mundo was... Stairs! 
This is ridiculous. It's like every time I start getting close to the top, someone just adds more Soul King downstairs! Is this what your plan is, Josh Groban? Kill me with cardiovascular exhaustion? Uh. Huh? This is inside the dome. But there's open sky here. I get the feeling Josh Groban expends a lot of resources on unnecessary things like this. Big blue sky? Sure. Big, hard to traverse, useless desert? Check. Useful rooms? No way, man, that would be wasteful. Huh? What was that? All right, I'll just follow you then. Hello? Mr. Bubble Man! I assumed you wanted to fight, <laughs> but I'm not good at picking up on the subtle nuances of Bubblies! Uh, yep, you sure are making a point of some kind. Heckin' let me have it, I guess. All right, big reveal. You should know if you turn out to be SpongeBob, I won't go any easier on you. In fact, that just gives you more reason to die. You've had your time. It's been a very long time, Rukia Akuchki. I bet you weren't expecting me. So there's a whole other story, kids. The man whose face Rukia was seeing was Kayan Shiba, Rukia's former lieutenant, friend, a man she had to kill, and as a matter of fact, your great uncle. That said, when Rukia looked at his face, all she saw was... Ichigo! You dyed your hair? Could you say that again? Wait, no. Here we go. Hisagi! Duh! <laughs> What are you doing here, Isagi? I feel bad for Kayan. I can soup the guy's essence, but this is just harsh. Of course. You're working with Josh Groban. You were Tosin's right-hand man the entire time. Why would you do this, Isagi? Do you really not remember me, Rukia? I'm Kayan Shiba, the Reaper who befriended you in your early days as a Reaper, and who you killed. Hold the phone, hang on, just wait one second, just take a step back. Here, simmer down now. Your Ganju's brother, right? Sure. Hmm, no, I'm pretty sure you're Hisagi. That other guy disappeared. Because you killed him, me! Then how are you here? Nah, this just doesn't add up, Hisagi. Right, fine, I'm Hisagi. Apparently all your friends just look the same. Why are you with Josh Groban? I second. I'm a spy for Soul Society. I'm posing as an espada. You said I know Tosin, right? So, uh, well then, I used my connection to Tosin to get in, I guess. This, all this right here, this is making sense. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> what the hell was that? Training. What? Training! Good dodge! I, Hisagi, have always been an advocate of keeping your skills sharp in dire circumstances. Also of using lethal blows that would absolutely kill your sparring partner while training. Well, I can't objectively prove that wrong, so I guess that checks out. Now that we're all done with our single strike training, Rukia, I think there's something that I need you to do for me. <clears throat> yeah, um, bro, I, I don't really like you that way, dude, bro. <clears throat> I want you to bring me the heads of your four friends. Sure you don't want me to just suck your dick, bro? Cause that's way more likely, bro, dude. I mean, if we're just running options. Get off of me! Hey, whoa, Rukia, what are you doing? We're just goofing around. Two fellow soul reapers having a friendly romp, swinging swords, killing friends, sucking dicks. Come on, you're making this weird. When I entered here, you were unclear about your own identity. Claiming to be a dead man I sort of knew once, then a soul reaper I've literally talked to never. I'm starting to doubt you're even Hisagi. Hisagi would never say these things in theory. But what if I was actually Ichigo? Ooh. Ichigo? You don't even sound like Ichigo. A lot of people sound like Ichigo, but okay, sure. Dance! Don't I know shit are you <laughs> Let's do this the hard way then. Pretty nimble. Let's see how well you dance, imposter! Tsukishiro! 
I've seen that before! That's impossible! Hisagi has never seen that technique before! Ah. Oh, yeah? Moan at this if you can! Ah. 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 Time for my second dance! Hakure! Nice try, but I've seen that before too, Rukia. First of all, no you haven't. Second of all, seeing it doesn't change the laws of physics or aerodynamics or heckin' luck. I've seen Josh Groban almost cut Ichigo in half. Doesn't mean I'm in a rush to swallow his sword. <laughs> what in the world do you find so funny? <laughs> I just... I just had this whole thing where I consumed the hollow, the possessed Kai and Shiba. I absorbed his abilities and memories and then waited for you to show up so I could use Kayan's face to deceive you. It was downright Machiavellian. Then you forgot who he is! And it turns out you have like 30 friends that all look like Ichiko. <laughs> oh, they say if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Rukia, give me a second to compose myself here. <laughs> oh, if I can't fool you, I guess I'll just have to do this the old sword to throat way. <laughs> see you when I see you, kid. You're not getting away. So they know shit are you gay. First dance. Come and get me. So Kishiro. What did I tell you about techniques I've seen before? Come on, Pipsqueak. You can do better than. Oh, that was pretty clever, actually. You know, this would be way more fun for me if you'd hurry up and remember Kyan. I can't trick you anymore, obviously, but the look on your face would be exhilarating. Oh, oh, hold on. I think I just had an idea. Rage through the seas and the heavens! Nechibana! Tell me, Rukia Kuchki, does this bring back memories? Surely you must remember Kayan training with this Sampak Toe, and the myriad of make you wet comments that made you realize Soul Society doesn't have an HR manager. You think I'd remember that, but I just don't. I just. I just don't, man. <laughs> I might be out of my thing. Where's Ichigo? I swear I'm never having kids. Sorry, kids. I planned for us to have a series of intimate moments before I killed you. Letting you believe I was Kyan, then acting strangely so you'd be suspicious. Then convincing you again. No good twist isn't foreshadowed after all. But you, Rukia, seem to have switched to a different book entirely. Hey! Looks like we're done here. Oh, son of a bitch! I have a delicate complexion, you sniveling harpy! Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah! Don't just blow up walls! Are you some kind of maniac? Kind of far away there, friend. Sure you don't want to come over here and speak more intimately? Hey, shut up! Oh, shut up? More like Bakudu number four! I know what! You, you really are a maniac! Bakudo number 61! Oh, hey, hey, we can talk this out! Reiki Jokoro! <laughs> Auto number 73! Sodin so cuts with! So that's your true form. You have the ability to change your face, but the light reveals what you are. Ah, can't talk, huh? Well, that makes banter kind of hard. 
All right, let's get back to it then. Now that I know you're absolutely not Hisagi or whatever, I can pretty much just keep fighting like this, honestly. But you're ugly, so it'll be more satisfying to kill you. You know something? People used to be able to hear what I was saying, right up until I joined the Espada. Then after that, bubbles. Isn't that weird? Never been able to figure it out. Despite that, Lord Groban can still understand me just fine. From my intention alone. Yeah, you... he probably... Jeez, he even messes with his own men like that? Come again? Just thinking out loud. Did you say you're an Espada? That's right! Espada number nine. Areniro Areruriruri Ruri Ruri Three. Additionally, you seem to be under the impression that I have the ability to change my face. You can shapeshift, obviously. I'm afraid that's not the case. I can only take the form of those that I have consumed. Right, whose shape you shift into. I borrow the semblance of those whose essence I contain. All right, Captain Semantics, you don't shape shift. Let's move on. In any case, the jig is up. What do you say we get right down to it and start fighting at full strength? <sighs> Are you gonna try to eat me with your butthole hand? You're so disgusting. You're totally tainting the memory of Kyan Shiba! Huh! I take off the glove and show you my butthole hand! And now you remember Kyan Shiba! You know, seeing your form, all gross and covered in tentacles, yeah, kinda do a bit. Oh, screw this fight then. I'm really pushing this to its conclusion! Devour her! Glutonoria! <laughs> Are you terrified? You ought to be. What you see is the power that allows me to consume other hollows and make their power my own. It is the means by which I acquired the form and zanpakuto of Kai and Shiba! Oh, disgusting! You look like a giant, sad, mutant, octopus dog head! With leprosy! Enough comments from the peanut gallery. Even if you don't recall him, the death of Kai and Shiba was at your hands! When his wife was devoured by the hollow Metastasia, and you stood by helplessly. He battled valiantly. If you had joined him, he wouldn't have been possessed. If you hadn't stood before him, he never would have thrown himself upon your sword. You killed this Kai and Shiba, Rukia Kuchki! And I will gladly extract a fitting retribution from your hide in his place! Wait. That Kyan? Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Soul Reaper. You'll forever be my most satisfying failed deception. <laughs> All this time, that guy? I remember him. I went to therapy for years after that happened. Did I repress an entire fucking person? You know, Aroniro? Hmm? You mentioned that if you saw me use a technique, it wouldn't work on you hmm. twice, right? Sorry, but what is it you're going on about now? So... I guess... Good thing... I never had a chance to stab Kyan in the head. Hey, you didn't know this, but since last time Kyan saw me, I became a seated member. A keto master. I'm the sister of one of the most revered captains in Soul Society, and I'm the only one to ever survive 
An execution attempt by the Sokyoku. Next time you drag up someone's past, make sure you understand completely what a badass bitch you're dealing with. <laughs> Time? But who are they? What am I? I can't die here. If I do, no one will know that I killed an Espada. Don't die alone, Rukia. Promise me that. Promise me that you will never die on your own. Ah, oh, shit. The floodgates open, and I'm remembering all the ominous things he said. Rukia, if you die, make sure you do so surrounded by friends. By those you love. By those that you trust. Stop! You're so cryptic! Rukia, I'm not gonna let you die! Wait, was that Ichigo who sounds nothing like Kayan? Hold on. Do I only like Ichigo because he looks like Kayan? Am I that shallow? I have so many questions. I'm dying, and I have so many shallow, stupid questions. And I killed an Espada, and no one's gonna know. Damn it. Ichigo, please. Someone. I don't. I don't want. Kids, she didn't die. Come on. Is that one the same moon from back home? Ooh, Soul Society has a sun moon too. Are they the same one as in the world of the living? But if they aren't, is there an entirely separate solar system or universe for each different plane? Ooh, I wonder if out there in spirit space there are spirit aliens that don't know they're ghosts. Knock, knock. May I come in? Uh, why don't you just leave me alone? You've said that the last six times I've tried to come in. I'm starting to think you're just being mean because you're lonely. Which is silly, because if I'm here, you won't be lonely anymore. You think I want to talk to you, Ukiora? Well, not necessarily. But if you talk to me, you by definition won't be alone, making it literally impossible to be lonely. You really get people. I try. On that subject, I brought you food. I had to go to the world of the living to get it. I alarmed more than a few people. What with a floating shopping basket walking up and down the aisles. But it was worth it. Oh, uh, what did you get me? Nutrigrain bars, mostly. I wasn't sure I could trust my feelings on what was and wasn't food. Also, something called cheese. Which upon inspection is mold and also medicine and also simultaneously food. By the way, did you do something with your head? Oh. What? Do you want news about your friend, Yasutora Sato? Chad? Yes! Is he alright? Very dead, yes. What? Oh. And there's Rukia Kuchki. Death? It seems so. Took an espada out with her too. But like Areniro, so only kind of an espada. Say, this is all good news, isn't it? With your friends dying one by one, you'll find yourself free from distraction. The days of looking longingly out that window and dreaming of rescue will come to an end. They'll finally be able to relax. Shut up. I've got some spare time today. Perhaps I'll find that Ichigo Kurosaki myself and kill him. So you can clear your mind of troublesome- mm. Shut up! Inoue, I am 
starting to think you don't like me very much. Fuck you! Well, now that is just confusing, isn't it? Whew! Okay, so that's done. Goodness. We've been kind of mulling over this episode for a very long time. And truth be told, it's an episode we've been thinking about for a very long time. For sentimental reasons I might go into later, this episode actually means quite a bit to me. So thank you guys for coming around and being so supportive. And thank you all for your patience. We are trying to get things out faster. It seems like every time we think that something is more on track, it ends up falling apart to some degree. But I guess that's just life. Not meant to be an excuse. We're just trying to be better for you guys. Thank you very much to all the patrons that are being shown on the screen right now. You guys helped keep things moving. In particular, thank you very much to our $100 patrons, and I'm sorry for any mispronounced names. Fang Yang, Echo Call, That Lizarf, Video Gamer 75, Where are the first 74 of you? Ben Meltzer, Bandit 1683, and Erdolf. With your guys' support, we keep things moving. And we'll see you next time. Next time. It's a wrenchy episode.